Hello my love. So this is the full moon through each of the 12 houses within astrology. So I highly recommend that you check your ascendant, sun and moon sign um, just to get a nice well-rounded reading. Obviously the ascendant should be the most accurate for you. Um, but you can check from your sun sign position that's going to tell you things about your career and your external world. The moon will kind of activate your more intimate internal things that maybe you've been neglecting, your internal world. And obviously you can check from your Venus position if you wanted to know how this full moon might be activating and influencing your relationships. And if you want to know where the full moon is taking place uh, for you, there is a link down in the information box just below. So I'm going to be walking through each of the 12 houses and what it means when a full moon activates each of the 12 houses. Timestamps or chapters will be provided down below so you can skip ahead as you wish and um, let's get into it. Okay, so when the full moon activates your first house of self, health and your direction in life, then the first house in astrology points to new beginnings, okay? It's your life path and how you take action. It's your personal full moon for the entire year. So it's actually a really wonderful time for you for some self-realization, seeing how far you've come and reconsidering and recommitting perhaps to some goals or plans that you had made and kind of looking at where you want to go next. You know, the full moon is going to call you to take stock of yourself and your life direction and what you need to do to get to where you want to go. And so it's the time to really celebrate your victories, to create this plan to better help you align or realign with your long-term goals. So the full moon activating your first house is essentially potent energy that highlights the results of all of your past efforts, right? From the past sort of five, six months, it's showing you what is manifesting as a result of those consistent daily habits that you've had. This is what it's highlighting. This is what it's bringing your awareness to. And so it's something that brings a personal truth forth. So you can manifest your greatest desires around this time. You can get an ideal kind of, you know, opportunity, a serendipitous sort of opportunity, but it will highlight or manifest something in connection to what began um, five or six months prior to the consequential new moon that happened under the same sign. And so it's the result of all of your past efforts and it can sometimes bring a second chance at recommitting, you know, yourself to a goal. But essentially the full moon is highlighting the new chapter of your life, how you can work to manifest the life that you've always dreamed of. Now you can also have a look and see where the ruler is currently transiting to kind of further this video for that there is a post link down below so you can check that out and you can figure all that stuff out over on my website so thank you so much and i hope this is helpful and i'm wishing you a wonderful full moon Okay, so when the full moon activates your second house, the second house is the house within astrology that governs over one's assets, income and everything that you value. So it also points to everything that's yours and everything that you need to sustain the life that you want to lead, right? So it's your voice, it's your food, it's your money, it's your investments, it's family, it's that sense of security. So the full moon ideally is helping you to improve your financial situation by highlighting and bringing your awareness to it. And it's all in aid of manifesting and providing you with what it is that you need right now in your life. You know, are you taking good enough care of yourself? Are you feeding your body with nutritionally dense foods or putting superficial fuel inside of your human vehicle? So what are you in need of right now and how can you get it? Essentially, this is what the full moon is bringing your attention towards. Are you asking for help? Or are you trying to do it alone? Are you wasting your time and energy on things that don't provide value to you? Or are you living by your own values? Right, so all of these things will kind of come up during the time of the full moon because the full moon is going to provide you with the solutions that you need. But you have to also meet the universe halfway, you know, if you hope to kind of sustain it. So it's about putting yourself first and giving yourself exactly what you need separate from others in your life. And if you've been neglecting yourself, then this full moon will bring a situation to rectify whatever that may be. 
is a forming to help you find the information needed to create the physical security and utilize your practical abilities. It's in service to providing you with everything that you need. So essentially there would have been a new moon five, six months ago and this is kind of like the manifestation of your consistent habits and the consistent things that you've been investing your time, your energy, your resources and money into. Now you can also have a look and see where the planet that rules this full moon is currently transiting to kind of further this video. Um, I have put a link down below with a blog post where you can find all of the relevant information out and what that can specifically mean for you for this current full moon. Again, check out the links below. So this is what I get for the full moon transiting through and activating your personal second house. Happy full moon, happy manifesting. I hope this was helpful. If it is, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in another one. Okay, so um, the full moon activating your third house. Um, basically the third house is where you go it's community, it's communication. The third house in astrology points to news, information, and like I said, communication in a nutshell. So the third house full moon is a time where we're all a little bit more active and busy and communicative. And it's generally a time where you're learning something of importance. It's providing you with the truth to something that you've been looking for. And so the full moon in the third house can definitely boost social media presence. It can be, you know, that you're sharing more of yourself, your views, your opinions around this time. And obviously, depending on how you are as a person it might also be a word of caution there with oversharing certain things because you know everyone gets a little cray cray around the full moon um it's just whatever essentially has been suppressed is now coming out into the open it's resurfacing to the point where it's like a trigger you know someone does something and you just kind of react it's very reactive energy under the full moon so it could be that more people you know are noticing you and what it is that you're sharing so you know if you want to use it productively then this will be a really great time for you to kind of put out that quality content if you are you know on social media and you want that kind of thing or even if you're just looking for a new opportunity or you know if even if it's not like a new job or anything like that but if you're looking for something whatever you're looking for you know you're going to get noticed you're going to have the chance of activating that opportunity because the full moon is actually activating this space around this time now you could also begin to find yourself venturing into places making discoveries and it is a time where you can kind of make a change to your daily routine now you might change up the local pace that you go to get coffee you might check your horoscope or even you know check the local news in different places than you would ordinarily go check them out around you know the full moon because the full the full moon in the third house represents the places that you go on the daily so a full moon happening here is going to bring your awareness or truth to a place that you go you might find out that a friend or an acquaintance or a teammate or a sibling is oversharing information or that you find the truth out about someone you know seeing someone's true face essentially you know the full moon is opening your eyes to something that you were previously blind to around five or six months ago around something that was taking place then and now it's just highlighting that for you because the full moon is going to illuminate something that you need to know right it's going to show you what you need to know that may have been concealed or hidden from you previously. It might also bring a change or changes to your local environment. And so you're gonna be making detours, seeing things that you didn't know were there originally. Now, as I've said for all of the others, you can have a look and see where the transiting ruler is in, you know, where it is activating in your current, um, in your current chart. And that will give you a little bit of a added insight as to what this can potentially mean for you. I have put a link down below um, and you can have a little read through that because it's already there. 
Um, so do let me know if this video has been of some help to you. I hope that it has. If it has, please do consider giving a little thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. Um, otherwise, I will see you in another video. So happy full moon, happy manifesting. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so the full moon activating the fourth house of home, family and security. Within the realm of astrology, the fourth house points to your roots, the place that we became who we are. And so the full moon in the fourth house can signal a truth or a revelation taking place within your home, family or history. And it can bring a revival of a familiar karmic story that's been passed down through your ancestral line. On the opposite spectrum, it can also highlight and bring awareness to a chapter within your own um, family story. Now, the fourth house full moon is a time that you'll gain awareness of something that you were blinded to within the family, home or living dynamics. And it can, of course, point to bringing changes into the home, sprucing the place up, cleaning the house from top to bottom. And it asks the question of how can you improve your home, family life and living situation? So the full moon here is where you acknowledge the elephant in the room with relevance to your home and family. You know, you may be clearing things out, moving things around or resolving past issues in the family and home. And it can also be a time of home improvements. Now the full moon is highlighting the things that you set intention for around five, six months ago. And it's bringing your awareness to the progress that you've made in relevance to those things. And it can show you, you know, it shows you that for you to reach your goals, you need a strong, safe and well-structured foundation. So home life is imperative for you to reach your goals. Now, the full moon also shows that, you know, there, there could be things blocking your progress. So you can totally remedy those things. You can strengthen, you can realign to the goals that you set five, six months ago. Now you can also have a look and see where the ruling planet of this specific full moon is taking place for you. Again, there is a post linked down below that goes into all of that. Nice and easy. You can just click, click, click and you'll have all of the answers that you need. If that's of help, you can do that. And that basically concludes everything that I have to say about the full moon activating generally uh, the fourth house of home. If this video has been helpful, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Let me know how you get on in the comments down below and I will hopefully see you in another one. Bye. Okay, so the full moon activating your fifth house of creativity, children and everything that you make. Um, so the fifth house within astrology points to fun, pleasure and entertainment. It's the space of procreation, what you breathe life into and your raw talents and hobbies. So the fifth house full moon speaks of following your heart and making more time for the things that light your spirit up. The full moon in the fifth house brings the inspiration and ideas behind creation, love, business, projects, ideas, work of art or even a child. Because the full moon in the fifth house is highlighting or it is the highlighting of a chapter of your love story. It brings excitement, inspiration and pleasure on all accounts. It's a time where everything is speaking with you, inspiring and guiding you to embody more love and fun in your life. There is something that you have to share and now is the time to share it. It calls for you to step into the spotlight, to share your truth, your story or a work of art. It's your time for you, okay, to shine bright and to know that, you know, what you have to say or express matters. We all have a special gift, a special story to offer the world and it's a gift that only you have and a way to share do or express it that can inspire aid or provide insight into the world around you so essentially this full moon says you should do you follow your inspiration find freedom to be who you uniquely are and shine bright without any apologies so essentially this full moon is highlighting a seed of inspiration that maybe you had five six months ago 
And now it's showing you, it's bringing you this highlighted version of this, this go this way. Like this is the sign, this is the synchronicity. You're ready now to kind of birth this thing out into the open to share your art, to share your craft. Now, of course, you can see where the transiting planet that rules this full moon is moving through your chart. I have linked a post down below that tells you exactly where that is and what it means. Um, and that basically sums up what the fifth house full moon generally means. So if this has been helpful, please do considering giving it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in another video. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, so the full moon activates your sixth house, the sixth house of lifestyle routines and working environment. The sixth house in astrology points to the daily grind, what you're in service to, your health. Um, it's what every day looks like for you. The job that you do, it's cleaning up after, organizing and fixing things. So the sixth house full moon is alerting you to your health. You know, it's alerting you that health is the ultimate wealth. It brings into question your lifestyle, stress management, and highlights how you can improve your working or daily environment. So the full moon in the sixth house is going to bring your awareness to ways that you can improve your way of life. It's highlighting your lifestyle, your routine, so that you can remedy any health ailments and improve upon your general well-being. The full moon will alert you to the improvements that can be made, but you'll have to be the one to put them into action. Your success is highly dependent on your daily consistent efforts, and the full moon is highlighting what is and what is not working for for you in the pursuit of your long-term goals. So committing to a healthy morning and evening routine has been known to prompt success. It can also of course be that the full moon is signaling a change in your working situation with a colleague, with the environment, with the job role that you have currently. It could point to a need for a change of lifestyle and health regimens. It might also even highlight a change within a pet because pets and animals, you know, we tend to be in service to them right so we have to make sure you know they can't just go and feed themselves right so um you know so it can highlight things around animals too um but when the full moon activates the sixth house is actually helping you to overcome any issues or challenges that you've been facing in your daily life how can you make your daily grind a more healthy and happier place to be? How can you improve, how can you improve your health and way of life? So whatever goals that you set five, six months ago, this full moon is where you kind of check back in with your progress. Usually there's a roadblock and perhaps people working at cross purposes with you. It's here that you gain insight, truth and experience to navigate through it to realign with your ambitions and your goals to get back up to speed essentially so you can also have a look and see where the ruler of this full moon is taking place for you um now i have done a blog post that goes into and details everything that you need to know about this upcoming full moon i've linked it down below and this basically sums up what the sixth house activating full moon means. So um, if this has been of help to you, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and I will hopefully see you in another one. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, so the full moon activating the seventh house of commitments, relationships and intimacy. So the seventh house in astrology points to the others in your life, your best friend, your roommates, your intimate partners, your business partner. It's those that we make a commitment to, the things that we promise or sign a legal contract with. It's the people that we're intrinsically entwined with, whether that is like your worst enemy, you know, your mortal enemy, or whether it is your BFF, right? The seventh house full moon highlights relationships, friendships, business partners, clients, those contractual agreements that bind you to another person in some way. The full moon in the seventh house is really pointing to and illuminating the reality and truth to your friendship stories, to your relationship stories. It's where you acknowledge some deep truth um, you know, you experience a heightened aspect or aspects 
or storyline to that connection or to that specific commitment that you have. So when the full moon takes place here, it also connects to your maternal grandmother, paternal grandfather, nieces, nephews, that second child, if you have any. It connects also to anyone with whom you share some sort of mutual exchange and gain, like a doctor, a greengrocer, your banker, a therapist, and so on. So the full moon, of course, is going to bring in or it could highlight some sort of significant relationship altogether. It could present some important situation that takes place within the lives of those that are nearest and dearest to you, or that you have some sort of regular exchange with. Now, obviously, it can bring a little bit of drama. You know, if you've been suppressing or, you know, biding your time and biting your tongue and not really expressing how it, how it is that you feel about things, this could be that trigger point moment where everything kind of floods out into the open. Now, it also might present a significant contract in the making, needing to renew or terminate a contract or commitment. It could present negotiations, lawsuits, other legal documentation that needs signing and agreeing to around this time. What things did you commit to five, six months ago? And where are you now? Are you still in the same place? You know, do you still want to continue this relationship, this commitment, this promise, this connection? It's like a reevaluation of everything that you committed to and that you promised that you would do uh, five, six months ago. And kind of where are you with that? What relationship goal did you have in mind and set intention for five, six months ago? How much progress have you made? Because this is the full moon to address and see the results of your efforts or the lack of when it connects to your relationships, your commitments and the important people in your life. Now, obviously, you can have a look and see where the ruling planet um, of this specific full moon is transiting within your chart. Um, again, I have made a little post about that. You can click on the link down below and it'll tell you everything that you need to know. And that said, this is what I get for the full moon moving through the seventh house. If it has been of help to you, please do consider giving it a thumbs up, leaving me a comment down below. That would do wonders to help the channel grow. And I will see you in another video. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, so the full moon activating the eighth house of joint resources, secrets and change. So the eighth house in astrology points to what you gain as a result of other people. So the eighth house full moon can open the door to having access to something that you didn't have access to before. Now being as the eighth house deals with other people's stuff, be it money, trauma, assets, family, it can connect to things like loans, inheritances, alimony, and connection through association. So the full moon in the eighth house can point towards a change in financial opportunity as much as it can point to a change or unexpected event that takes place in the life of somebody that you're connected to. Um, so as a result of somebody else, you're kind of experiencing this big change through that person. Now, what we have to remember is that we don't have control over the 8th house, not really. We don't have full control over that, that specific area because it's a place that we become entwined in somebody else's stuff. So it can represent the themes around transformations, change, sudden events because we don't have full access and control over those things. So therefore it is a place of vulnerability, intimacy, trust, truth, secrets, fear and trauma. Now the 8th house full moon calls awareness to the change that is needed in our lives. It's a time where we can become aware of the baggage that we carry as a result of other people. It's a wonderful time to get a psychic reading, to see a therapist, a tax accountant, hire a PI or acquire the truth behind something that just feels a little off or, sus or suspicious or suspect. It's a time to really trust your instincts and investigate for that proof. Because nine times out of 10, your instincts and intuition get really heightened around the specific time of the year. The same as with the full moon in the fourth house or the 12th house. Intuition is at its peak when it's moving through these areas. So always trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. Heed that omen, heed that warning. So the eighth house full moon 
cause, like I said, it's calling a big awareness over the changes that need to happen. It's an idle time to work through your fears, the things that create blocks and barriers around intimacy, seeing a sex therapist or a fertility doctor, if you're trying to conceive, are all wonderful things that you can you know, utilize during the time of the full moon because it's highlighting this really sensitive, vulnerable space within, uh, within your chart. So the eighth house deals with issues around control and power. How much do you give away and how much do you keep for yourself? Do you give people what they deserve or what you want to give? You know, so when we give abundantly, it usually does come from this good place, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes we give, give, give in order to receive just a little bit back. But, you know, over time, if that energy exchange is so far off balance, we can begin to feel like we're being taken advantage of, right? So we kind of get a little bit resentful over those things. Now, it might be time to consider your personal power control balance within your relationships, within your commitments and contracts to make sure that everything is as fair as it can be. It's about considering what you think people deserve before you give everything and leave nothing for yourself. It's also a time when I warn people against con men or con women, right? It's the eighth house. The eighth house is a space that is riddled with mystery and intrigue. It's seductive, it's exciting, and it deals with privacy themes. So it's a space where the sun begins to set and everything begins to get dark and that we cannot see as well as maybe we would like to see because how well can you really truly know what's going on inside of a person's head unless they're willing to kind of open up about that stuff, right? Which is why this eighth house is so kind of tricky to kind of interpret. Um, Especially, I guess we could say the eighth house full moon is shining a little light on everything that maybe has kind of been kind of seeping down to the bottom of our emotional lake and it's reawakening and dredging up these things. So it can be a very emotional full moon to kind of go through where we might be a little bit more sensitive, a little bit more vulnerable around this time. Um, Obviously, this is a time to investigate the things that are resurfacing, what your instincts and intuition is telling you. It's a time to reclaim your power and step into the truth. It will also highlight something that was begun five, six months ago and that will kind of show you what is needed for you know, for for what it is that you're trying to manifest. Now, you might have to step outside of your comfort zone to really change your approach towards it in order to manifest everything that you want to manifest right now. Now, you can also have a look and see where the transiting uh, planet or the ruler of this specific full moon is transiting. I have created a post down below so you can check that out. It tells you everything that you need to know. So this basically concludes what the 8th house full moon in a generalized way, kind of interprets and means. And if it has been of some help to you, please do consider in giving it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below and I will hopefully see you in another one. Okay, so when the full moon activates the ninth house of aspirations, experiences and spiritual beliefs, the ninth house in astrology points to your personal life experience, a pilgrimage and a journey of life. Okay, so the ninth house full moon brings forth a significant experience that highlights the next phase or chapter of your journey. And it's something that aligns with your aspirations in life. It expands your views, your beliefs and experiences on something. Essentially, it's all about expanding the mind and your horizons, providing gnosis and opportunity. So the full moon in the ninth house is bringing awareness to or towards what you hope to acquire in the long term. So this isn't all about the immediate here now, the gains that you're going to get tomorrow or next week. This is the long term vision. Okay, so it's bringing your awareness towards what needs to happen next or what steps you need to take in order to manifest that long term vision or goal that you have for yourself. So what vision did you start to have or what inspirational idea did you set for yourself and your long term goals and your ambition five, six months ago? Because it's highlighting the, the necessary steps for you to take in order to manifest that. The moon illuminates what steps you need to take to reach the goal and get yourself back on track. So the full moon 
the moon itself brings awareness to the necessary steps of how you can accomplish everything that you set out to do. It brings everything into focus. Any fears, any setbacks, any potential roadblocks around achieving this goal begins to come to light. And so this full moon is aiding you in manifesting your dream life and it's kind of bringing it up to the surface. The full moon will highlight an important lesson that you need to learn so that you can reach whatever that vision, goal, aspiration is that you have for your long term. It's a time for you to reconnect with your aspirations in life. Where are you now? Where did you hope that you would be at this point in time? It's about making strides and taking action towards your aspirations. It can present a time where you're receiving the truth, discovering something potent to your purpose or your life story. Essentially, the ninth house full moon is showing you the results of your past actions in the pursuit of the quest begun around five, six months ago or even at the start of the year, okay? It's to question what you know and present you with an experience to really open your mind to the possibility of something outside of what you previously have claimed as truth. You might have had an idea about something earlier on in the year or five, six months ago, but the full moon now is showing you the reality of that with an experience of it. So you can also have a look and see where the ruler of this specific full moon is transiting. I have it already mapped out in a blog post down below. You can click on the link there. But just to generalize, this is what I get for what happens when the full moon takes place in the ninth house. If it has been of help to you, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below how you get on and I will hopefully see you in another video. Okay, so when the full moon illuminates the 10th house of your reputation, your career and where you spend your time, the 10th house in astrology points to our life mission, position in society and our achievements. So when you have the full moon here, you gain insight into what's keeping you from reaching those goals. It highlights something that you set intention for connected around your career and your status and how far you've come to realizing those goals and what has been holding you back from achieving them if you have in fact you know had something hold you back so the 10th house is where we spend our time it's what we strive for and it's our responsibility and duty to society or to the world at large so a full moon taking place here is really highlighting and showing you know you the fruits of your labor the consequences of your actions and what has manifested through your consistent daily habits the 10th house full moon could signal an evolution in the role that you play for the world it could bring a second chance opportunity that can kind of present itself here but you'll need to kind of overcome your fears and setbacks you know by five six months ahead okay um so you can also kind of have a look and see as well you know where the ruling planet is kind of taking place around your chart i have linked a um, a blog post down below that goes into all of that but essentially it's the full moon that brings illumination and highlights a goal success and accomplishment it's gaining recognition over something that you do or accomplish in highlight it's kind of coming up as a highlighted moment now sometimes it points to an obstacle in life sometimes it can present a new job opportunity a realization that you have an epiphany within your career field maybe you are changing jobs maybe you're relocating maybe you're getting engaged married or divorced basically it's really bringing your public it's kind of bringing something personal a personal highlighting moment it's a milestone moment that's taking place and it's bringing it to the public sphere. So this is when something very personal can become very public. You know, this could be where someone shows you how much they appreciate you and what it is that you've done. You know, you can gain some sort of public recognition for something that you've done maybe five, six months ago that you completely have even forgotten about. So this essentially kind of sums up what I'm vibing with when it comes to the full moon in the 10th. As I said, check where the ruler of this full moon is transiting within your personal chart to add it or to create something a little bit more personal for you for this full moon. But you can have a look at the post that I made down below because it goes into everything that you need to know 
about this upcoming full moon. Um, but that said, um, if this has been of help to you, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in another one. So the full moon activates your 11th house of belonging, gains and the network groups and organisations that you belong to. The 11th house in astrology points to your hopes, your wishes and your friendships. The full moon can illuminate truths and insights into your alliances, a group, a friendship that really brings about an opportunity. It can also point you to gaining recognition for something that you do and gaining something in return for whatever it is that you've been working on. Now, in some cases, the full moon can bring a rise to a group, organisation or network that will bring a sense of belonging. It's a time where you can manifest or increase your following. You can connect with your soul tribe and connect with people who are on the same wavelength as you. The full moon in the 11th highlights a wish and intention that you set around five, six months ago. And it will begin to kind of bring your awareness to the progress of that goal. It's showing you how far you've come and everything that you've manifested. So it doesn't matter how big or how small it is. Make sure that you celebrate yourself. Make sure you celebrate the small victories as much as the big victories. And it's the full moon of benefactors, unexpected bonuses, recognition, returns on past investments. If ever you are looking for an opportunity, this full moon is going to hook you up. The full moon basically screams for you to not let this opportunity pass you by. It's not what you know, it's who you know. So if someone is helping you out, just shut up and say thank you and let them help you. The universe doesn't give us anything less than we can handle and so this is connected to a wish. Each step will get you closer to that wish. So say yes to whatever opportunities come up because this kind of full moon only happens usually once every uh, once every year. Sometimes there's a blue moon and you might get two in this house but this is a chance opportunity that you do not want to let pass by. Now you can also have a look and see where the transiting planet of this specific full moon is transiting through your chart. I have created a specific post dedicated to all things about this current upcoming full moon. You can check that link out down below. This is just the general vibes and insights that I have for what happens when a full moon transits through um, or activate your 11th house. So if this has been helpful, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below to let me know how you get on and I will see you in another one. Thank you so much. Okay, so the full moon is activating your 12th house of imagination, dreams and the past. The 12th house in astrology points to your connection with spirit, with self or with your subconscious mind. So the full moon is going to bring rise to something that's been lying just beneath the surface and it could manifest in your dreams. So it's a time of spirit communication or the signs could appear when you're alone, resting or just before you fall asleep or moments after you awake. It's these sudden kind of sparks of inspiration of epiphanies and things that just kind of pop into your head. So you want to make sure that you're taking note of those things because they're going to be of great aid to you with something. Something. Now the 12th house is a space similar to a haunted house. It's a place of curiosity, fear and the unknown. It's another world. It's a place of childlike wonder, hidden treasures, monsters in the closet and repressed memories that have been locked away. So something might have been taking you away from instead of towards your dreams and those things can kind of begin to haunt you and you'll start to see those things kind of resurfacing around you in the upcoming days to the full moon and maybe a day or two after it. It's raising your awareness of bad habits, bad thinking and memories that actually keep you stuck as a way to kind of free you and liberate yourself from them. So it's not doing it to torment you, it's doing it so you face them and then you can banish them, right? You can just move past them because the 12th house full moon is about taking the time to heal, rest and reflect on the journey thus far. It's about looking at what you've kind of, or even like where you've been and where you wanna go. It's about beginning to purge and let go of and release everything that is standing in the way of your own personal happiness and fulfillment. 
The 12th house full moon will begin to bring your awareness to things that you couldn't see before. Secrets, mysteries, people even working against you. People working in the shadows at a cross purpose to what it is that you're trying to accomplish. It's the full moon that asks you to be present within the moment, to be present with fear or whatever begins to unfold. It can be a wonderful time to journey into your dreams, to learn to meditate, to take a spiritual practice to another level. It's swimming, yoga, hiking, mixed martial arts could all be ways in which could bring bring forth the answer that you're seeking. The full moon is bringing this intense magical energy. The 12th house is traditionally this space of endings or undoings. It's a space that can provide you with the tools that you need to overcome addictions, habits, or activities that take you far away from what it is that you're trying to manifest in your life instead of bringing you closer to it. The full moon is highlighting something that maybe you need to put an end to, something that is not serving your highest and greatest good. It is one of those full moons where if you are a little bit witchy like me, you can receive ancestral dreams, you know, where people who have passed over can hop into your dream, you can have a little catch up and a chat. It's really a wonderful time, like it is not something to dread. The fourth house, the eighth house and the twelfth house, full moons, activations actually heighten our receptivity to the spirit world to everything that we couldn't see and obviously you know the subconscious mind picks up on everything way more than the conscious mind does and so this is where you gain those insights and things that you need to know so that you can prepare to move forward into the next chapter so you can also have a look and see where the ruler of this specific full moon is transiting Again, I've made a little post down below that goes into everything that you need to know about this upcoming full moon. And this basically sums up what the full moon activating the 12th house means. So if it has been of help to you, please do consider in giving it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in another one. Thank you so much. Bye.